and give the Lord a great day.
give honor to God who is our Father, to Jesus, our elderly brother, the Holy Ghost, our keeper, to our minister, Davis. I want to say congratulations to you on your accomplishment.
the Lord had the whole choir singing. And thousands of people were in the choir. One more little choir like y'all. And there were thousands. And they, they opened their mouth. And when the enemy heard that sound, the people can't stand it. I'll tell you, y'all better wake up. Wake up! They talk about where it used to be, what we used to do is our praise service. And folks, before we did anything, we got up and praised God. And we got praise. And prayed into the devil. And we come to church, broke down, and go out, fixed up.
Temple of Jehovah and um, the twentieth chapter. From, um, um, second chapter. The Lord let the enemy rise up against Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was one of the righteous rulers of Judah. But he made some mistakes in his administration, shall I say. And the Bible says that he formed an affinity with Ahab. Now even, uh, they were all Israelites, uh, but uh, they had been divided. And Ahab was one of the most notorious rulers of all Israel. And most of you all know him and know about his life. He married Jezebel. And of course, Jehoshaphat was a righteous judge of Judah, part of the divided kingdom. And God recognized him and established him. And if you study his life, God had blessed him. Here he, sometimes we think we're doing right and we're not pleasing the Lord. And he yawned with the Ahab because all of them were Jews. And it was, you, you think it's just right to do. But God had to kind of let him know that he was God. And so several armies rose up against him and came to run him off the land that God had given, and that God had sworn to Jacob and Abraham that they would have this as an inheritance forever. And the people who rose up against him, Moab and Ammon and Mount Seir, were armies that countries that God uh, wouldn't allow Israel to destroy when they came out of Egypt. They had orders to destroy everything. And, but he told them to go around these people. And sometimes when you help folk, that's the folk who are going to turn against you. Uh oh And they rose up against Jehoshaphat. And that third verse says that Jehoshaphat feared some of us don't get no fear in us with God or nobody else. We don't fear God or don't fear man. And how do you know that? I'm not judging nobody, but I see how you live. Uh oh. I, I, I see how you still act and do. And so uh, he feared God. And uh, the Bible says, and set himself to seek the Lord. Now here's a man that had been successful and he could have looked back at all the success that he had. And this is what most of us do. If God bless us and we have some degree of success, we turn around and look at what we have and what we own and look at our little power. But he counted as nothing. And he sought the Lord because he knew God could work it out. And notice what he did. He proclaimed a fast. Somebody read that verse for me. I told you all to get the 20th chapter and the third verse. I thought it was about Yeah, to read it loud, baby, because they, they, they don't even have it. Come on, come on. Give them the mic. And Jehoshaphat feared yeah, and set see. himself to seek the Lord. And set himself to seek the Lord, yes, not his army, not his fame, uh, not, not anything else but God. Go ahead. And proclaimed a fast throughout all Judea. Now, he decided, I'm going to seek God, and what did he do? He proclaimed a fast. And some of us don't believe in fasting no more. I, I, hear, I hear a preacher on the radio say it don't do no good to fast. 
And some of us haven't had any results, so we don't believe it's no good. You just think I, and the reason I know you don't believe me, you don't tell me, but I call for a fast. A convocation, I ask you to give the Lord at least 40 hours. Uh oh. And, and some of y'all ain't been in the fast yet. I know some of y'all been there in the sign. And, 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 and I ain't talking about you, but you, been there. you know who you are. Uh, but some of them ain't been there, not at all. Uh oh. They think I'm crazy. Can't, can't prize the preachers that become fast. They're the leaders. The leaders ought to be the first one to seek the Lord. And how do we expect God to deliver us and set us free? But here you have a king who was rich and God had blessed him and established his word. But yet he decided that I'm going to seek God. And he did it by calling the whole nation. Uh oh Call the whole nation to quit doing what you're doing. And everybody come to Jerusalem. And we're going to have a fast. Now, man, what would happen if I could get y'all to quit doing just one day? And, 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 and I, 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 I recall when I was really young and had a lot of strength. Uh, I, I'd call the church fast three days every, every month. And, and, and people worked and came Friday night. And then go home the Sunday morning, come right back for service. Y'all know what I mean. And, and God worked wonders for us. I tell people everything I have, everything I am is because of the Lord. Not because I'm brilliant and know a whole lot of stuff. I don't know. The, that's, why I'm, I, that's why I put that thing down. I, I know when God is in the house. And, 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 and I, I, I'm going to talk about who's on the Lord's side. I got tired of y'all shouting and nobody on this side. And, and I know half of y'all be mad when I leave. But, <laughs> but, but the Lord going to talk to us this morning. And, 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 and he, he saved, it, saved us. This, this is an example of, of what happens when you honor God and obey God. Out of all you're going through, all the things the enemy pile up on you, sickness or whatever it is, there's nothing too hard for God. And when we can turn to God and seek God, amen, I, I, I know we go to the doctors and go everywhere else, uh, but, but that's, that's all right, nothing wrong with that. And the woman with the issue of blood went to the doctor. And the reason I know she went, she spit out all she had. Then had nothing left to give him. But when she got down to the nitty gritty, broke and busted and disgusted, and still wasn't getting any better, she said, I'm going to try that man. And she heard so much about it. And pressed her way through the crowd and touched the hem of his garment called something down inside of her. She said, if I would but touch his garment, I just, I just believe I'm going to be made whole. And she didn't have to discuss it with nobody. But she went and she touched his garment. And God touched and healed her. Uh, here you have a leader leading people. And when you're leading people, you need to set an example. Uh, and, and, and that's what I try to call myself. Uh, I call for fasting and prayer. And I can't even get these preachers to come fast. I know so some of you ain't been there. Who are you talking about? No, I ain't talking about you. But been there every time. Right? Yeah, but, but, but some of them don't come at all. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. And I, I'm not going to stop telling the truth. But what happened? He called the nation to fast and pray. And then he led the prayer meeting. And, 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 and I don't have time to read it, but if you read the rest of that down there, you read his prayer. And he reminded God that God you're able to work with nothing. You, you, you brought us out of Egypt. And he just told him, so you're able to do whatever you want to do. And now here these heathens are. The one you told us to go by are coming now to take what you had given us. And he prayed until he got God's attention with it. And sometimes God doesn't speak to you. 
but there was a little old guy named Jehaziel. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord spoke to him in the prayer. And he broke up the prayer meeting. He said, wait a minute, Jehaziel. See, I just heard from heaven. God has heard your prayer. Told me to tell you. Don't worry. The battle is not yours. But it's mine. And what he did, when he got ready to go out to fight, he said, you don't have to fight. And, and notice what he did. He took the choir. Uh-huh. That's what God told him to do. He said, don't be dismayed. Don't be upset. But don't even worry, worry about your weapon. Take them guys that got the bows and the arrows and all that and put them behind the choir. And then let the choir come out. And when they sing and praise, and that's what I want you to underline in your Bible. When you sing and praise, that's what he told them to do, sing and praise. And that's why I say we do a lot of singing. We got some good singers up here. But the minute we start praising with that singing, look what God will do for us. And, and, and that's what happened to them. They went to singing. And then they started praising God. And went to saying his mercy in doing for heaven. And it shook heaven. And that meant thousands and thousands of armies, men, turn on each other. And God sent an ambushment among them. And they turned on each other and began to fight and until every one of them would be. And the next day, all Jehoshaphat and his people had to do was go back and roll over dead bodies and pick up the spoil. And they had much jewelry and everything. I want to tell you today, and this God will send deliverance and keep on sending deliverance. If you learn to praise him. When the devil done took our praise. Oh. We, 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 we got some good singing up here. But but we don't we don't praise him. Uh, I took another night, it's all right to have it. And the prayer team, the praise team, that's what y'all call it. The praise team. But they can't do your praise for you. Uh, and, and the reason folk used this like happening here today, everybody start praising God. If they want to lead us in the praise, all right. But they take the praise and you, they're doing the praise and you're doing nothing. But entertaining. Touch somebody and say, you don't come to church to be entertained. You don't come to church to be entertained. <laughs> you come to be filled and see from the Lord. So you can go out and leave this place free. Amen. You don't have to leave here like you can. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so what we need to do is sing, but then don't just sing, but do some praising. And when you praise him, and I, that's the truth. If you think about it, anybody been in this church where you used to have them praise service and testimony service. Amen. Folk would get saved sitting in the testimony service because people would be praising the Lord. And then, then, then have a, all the, no organ, had, had a piano with half the keys wasn't played. But all y'all had a tambourine. Uh -uh. And I, I, I remember we used to bring tin cans. And they be on the washboard, the tub or something, make a, make a joyful noise. And, and we come to church to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And y'all said, I mean, our culture has changed. <laughs> the culture changed. God had changed. Yes, sir. And he still deserves his praise. Come on, put them hands together and tell them.